Welcome to the virtual world of Mavic. Together, we will experience the latest hybrid OR with the system solutions and X-ray protective equipment from Mavic. Meet Dave, your virtual assistant for today. Hello there. Shall we begin? I'm wearing Mavic's X-ray personal protective equipment. I'm protecting my eyes using goggles with an integrated dosimeter to control my exposure within the allowed annual limit. This is a head cap to protect the skull region. My thyroid is also protected by a collar shield. This is my apron, vest and skirt model with an ergonomic fit, designed to distribute the weight reducing the strains. Sleeves can be integrated to protect the shoulders and mammary glands. And these are sterile x-ray protective gloves on my hands. Let us start by activating the x-ray machine. X-ray on. On your right, there is a virtual dosimeter that measures your x-ray dose exposure level. As you see, it's high right now. With this, I can show you the x-rays invisible to the naked eye. X-ray is produced from the tube directed to the detector. This radiation is the primary beam. When x-ray passes through the patient, it carries information that creates the image. The radiation spreading all around is the scattered radiation which comprises the main source of the dose exposure to the medical staff. Mavig offers long hybrid suspension arms that carry shields and light systems that effectively avoid collision with the crowded ceiling space and bridge the laminar airflow in the room. Now, let's place the OT54 suspended shield above the patient. Straight away, you notice the dose reduction. The OT54 is big enough to protect the head and eye lens. The dual cutouts with protective panel curtains have to be placed here along the patient drape. This will effectively block the scattered radiation emitted from the gap between the patient body and the shield while performing procedures from the femoral or radial axis. A second shield can be placed on the other side of the table for procedures conducted there and any additional personnel. As you can see, the radiation dose is still high from under the table. To reduce the exposure, let's mount the UT70 lower body protector on the table rail. This will give enough protection for two users around the table. Notice the difference with the dose exposure? Here, with the latest LED technology, the whole patient's body is lit up using dual heads, giving a wonderful fisheye effect over the table range. Mavic supplies the GD60, a robust and versatile suspension system which carries large monitors showing the inputs of medical devices. Its patented cardonic joint offers security during accidental collisions. An additional medium-sized monitor suspension system, GD50, can be installed on the other side of the table. Now, let's watch a short video about X-ray risks. Ionizing radiation may lead to brain, skin, and thyroid cancers and eye cataracts. Is your vision blurred? This is how X-ray may cause cataracts and eventually lead to complete loss of eyesight. This time, it's temporary and you can see normally again. As low as reasonably achievable, or a Lara principle. Oh, the screen has a technical issue. Not to worry, Mavic has a backup option on the GD60. Let's keep watching. A Lara principle has identified three factors to minimize exposure to radiation, reduce the time of exposure, maximize the distance from the radiation source, use shielding equipment between the user and the radiation source. The WD-261 is a body contoured height adjustable mobile shield that complies with the Alara principle and reduces further radiation exposure and apron weight. Mobile shield models such as WD-257 can be ideal for anesthesiologists, nursing teams and students. Okay, let's park the equipment outside the field. I hope you enjoyed the experience. See you next time. I hope you enjoyed the tour with Dave. We at Mavic design our solutions considering safety and the highest standards to ensure your well-being.